Lecture number 15, the role of analytical methods in the assessment of food quality indicators. Plan of the lecture. We will talk about food ingredients and food formulations and analytical methods for the analysis of food products. The topic provides a brief description of analytical methods for assessing the quality and consumer properties of food products. The importance of the concepts of quality and food safety is noted. What is nutrition? Nutrition is an integral part of life and maintaining human health when purchasing food, whether in a store, on a market, or at catering establishment, the consumer accepts to, uh, accepts to receive high quality and safe products. This characteristic of food products, according to the requirements of the law on protection of consumer rights, are decisive. Speaking about the system of providing the consumer with high quality of food products, it should be noted that in the producer's consumer chain, an important element is uh, the choice of analysis method in assessing the quality and safety of food products. This is what can provide an opportunity to confirm the compliance of raw materials and finished products with the established requirements. Knowledge of food research methods helps to solve problems of compliance with their sanitary and hygienic requirements and environmental safety. Food ingredients and food formulation. Food ingredient includes food additives, which are ingredients added to food for specific technical and functional purposes during processing, storage, and packaging. Food manufacturers use both natural and artificial ingredients to add or to preserve the flavor, color, and texture of foods. The term of artificial general refers to ingredients or foods created to Im imitate nature, such as certain colorings or flavors. For example, food scientists developed artificial raspberry flavor to mimic the taste of real raspberries. Because the word uh, natural has become synonyms with safety, health, and the uh, world feminist marketers have been labeling more food as natural to imply the superiority of their products over more artificial foods. But does natural equal better? Consumers' perceptions of naturalness are important for the acceptance of foods and food technologies. Thus, several studies have examined the significance of naturalness among consumers. Nonetheless, the aspects that are considered essential in perceiving a food item as natural may vary across consumers and different stakeholder groups, but in general, consumers' food intake is, is significantly influenced by food naturalness importance. Health issues are an emerging concern to the world population and therefore the food industry is searching for novel food products containing health promoting bioactive compounds with little or none, no synthetic ingredients. 
Nowadays, food not only serves as satisfy the primal urge of hunger, but also is a means to promote consumers' health. In this context, the food industry has focused on avoiding the potential harmfulness of synthetic food additives and on developing novel food products containing uh, health-promoting ingredients. Therefore, bioactive natural products are considered as viable and safe, safer substitutes of satisfy the world market demand for new products. Here you can see the uh, food bioactive compounds, how they affect to the health activity, availability and acceptability for the industrial application. And uh, this one, it is uh, about the contents of the food products. Uh, on the right side, you can see the bioactive compounds that include flavonoids, antibiotics, phenolic acids, and alkaloids. Analytical methods for the analysis of food products. According to academician Zolotov, chemical analysis of food products is a fairly routine task. But in our country, not enough attention is paid to its solution. The fact is that now when there is an active development of the fuel energy base, the chemicalization of a number of areas of industry and agriculture, the danger of contamination of the raw material with various substances harmful to human health increases. In this case, the relevance of the application of new express analytical methods for the analysis of food products, the assessment of their suitability and consumer quality is only increased. Here in the picture, you can see the development of methods uh, ultra and all the compounds and the anthocyanic from sloys and the analysis of phenolic compounds by folin siacalto and analysis of anti cyanis uh, using these methods analysis of bioactive compounds application of the developed methods to real slow matrix it is uh, for example and this is the book, Food Analytical Methods. Here you will find uh, all these uh, analytical methods for the analysis. Depending on the measuring instrument used, food analysis methods can be divided into measuring, registration, can, uh, computational, so sociological, expert, organoleptic. And the most important and objective are measuring methods which are based on information obtained using measuring and control means. They can be divided into physical, chemical, physical, chemical, biological, uh, and so on. Modern measuring methods include infrared spectroscopy, which allows to obtain complete information about the structure and composition of organic substances. Uh, IR radiation is used to study the fatty acid composition of dairy products and the determination of pesticides in food products in the analysis of food diets, as well as to control technological processes in the processing of plant and animal raw materials. Here in the picture, you can see the spectroscopy, the study of the interaction between matter and the light, and the food analysis in the right side, principles of spectros spectroscopy. Spectro spectroscopy is a science of measuring the emission of absorption of different uh, wavelengths of, of visible or non-visible light.
here uh, including infrared, fluorescence, nuclear magnetic resonance, ICP emission, atomic absorption, UV, VIC absorption. Used to determine the content in the production of vitamins A, K, B1, B2, B6, C, nicotinic acid, tocopherol, and carotene for edible oils, uh, express methods of BIR spectroscopy, big infrared range is preferable since most properties of oils vary greatly at different stage of their production. These methods allows you to quickly and effectively control the properties of products as in stage production and its end. The method allows to determine the ratios of saturated and unsaturated acids, CIC and trains submersing the product. Protein analysis and methods of analysis, the advantages of the TLDL methods uh, applicable to all types of food in expensive, accurate, and official method for crude protein content has been modified uh, to measure microorganism, microgram quantities of protein. And uh, disadvantages of KLDL method, uh, there are measures total organic nitrogen, not just protein nitrogen, time consuming at least two hours to complete, poor precision than the burette method and corrosive reagent. Food analysis, uh, vitamin analysis, uh, analytical methods, uh, BIOS, BIOS uh, vitamin D, vitamin B12, uh, sensitivity, pH, light, oxygen, temp uh, reaction, microbiological assays, niacin, folate, and the chemical assays, vitamin A will determine vitamin E, vitamin C, thiamine, and riboflavin. And about ultraviolet spectroscope, uh, spectroscopy is used for sensitive determination of small quantities of elements in the analysis of organic substances, as well as vitamins, hormones, antibiotics, uh, carcinogenic compounds. The advantage of this method is its high selectivity. Atomic spectros spectroscopy of substances is carried out after their transfer to the state of atomic vapor or gaseous state. Thus, the method of atomic emission analyzes with inductively coupled plasma allows with extremely high sensitivity and accuracy to determine almost simultaneously about 70 different chemical elements in the raw materials and finished products. Polarimetry, also related to optical methods of analysis, is based on measuring the angle of rotation of the plants of uh, polarization of light as it passes through optically active substances. This method is used to measure the concentration of optically active substances, polysaccharides and some amino acids, antibiotics. And we have a chromatographic analysis has attract, uh, attracted the attention of researchers since the first days of the appearance of this method. Chromatography methods are based on various physiochemical processes, ion exchange, diffusion, absorption, which allow the separation and analysis of the most diverse components of food products. Inverse voltammetry and hybrid methods based on it freely compete with other widely used methods for analyzing food products according to such characteristics as sensitivity, accuracy, the possibility of simultaneous determination of several elements while remaining budgetary analytical methods with low cost of the equipment. 
Real logical methods also allow studying the methods for determining the structural and mechanical properties of raw materials, semi-finished products and functional products necessary for the regulation of technological process and quality control at all stages of production. Summarizing, it should be noted that during the examination of food products, it is now possible to use a large range of analytical methods. Obviously, their role is extremely great since meeting the requirements for product quality as a rule uh, guarantees its high consumer properties. However, it is extremely important to take into account the problems associated with the unsatisfactory state of the environment causing contamination of raw materials and finished food products. Here are the references. Thank you for your attention.